Good evening, it's Sunday, November 13, 2022. Tonight is forecast to get down to about 29 degrees, and I've decided to move all my plants next to the house, but I'm not covering them up. I believe, based on my experience last year, that it's more of a mid-20s and below range where I need to be concerned. So I'm also trying out a theory that just clustering the plants together will help out, and I have the Brogdon and the Leela kind of on the outside edge here, and the uh, seedling plants on the inside, assuming that they are more sensitive. So just looking around the corner of the house, I just placed plants in other pockets. I think this pocket is the best one because I have the slab down here that retains heat and the plants are uh, surrounded on three sides by surfaces. And I put my Fuerte deepest in the back to give it the most protection. And out there in the yard is where I planted the two trees. So I'm not going to stress test these. I'm going to attempt to care for them through the winter like a normal gardener would. And uh, so I placed some uh, pieces of uh, asphalt from some degraded parking lots that I'd, uh, I had and a bucket over the plant and I did something similar with the one over here I expect to find frost everywhere around here in the morning and then I'll uncover these plants and find out how they fared through the night I'm recording on the next morning, Monday, November 14. And I definitely needed to cover up these plants. There's frost forming on the top. So the radiational cooling would definitely be damaging these trees if I didn't keep them covered overnight. Let's take a look at the thermometer. I would say that looks like about 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, negative four Celsius. So it certainly did get below freezing. So I'll walk up to the house quickly and we'll see where the edge of the frost is over there. I'd say this looks like a typical frosty late autumn morning. I normally will find uh, the grass to be frozen on the right side of this walkway and then this interior area will not freeze and um, checking on the plants here the nursery varieties don't have any frost at all on the leaves I don't even think these leaves feel especially cold uh, so this practice worked as expected uh, even this new growth up here does not look damaged to me so this night was not anything severe, and as you can see, I didn't need to cover the plants, I didn't need to panic. Here's another little pocket with some trees. Tips of these leaves feel a little cool to the touch, but um, I mean, maybe there's just a bit of frost here, and I'll get a sense of what these seedlings do, but uh, essentially they came through fine. And then this last area over here, I know it's typically five degrees warmer than the air uh, outside the house. And uh, all those trees, no problem. Um, I'm kind of cheating, I suppose, to put them in an area where the furnace is right next to them. But, you know, I'm still not cheating to the point of actually carrying the plants into the house or putting them in the shed. So, yeah. It's now the middle of the day, and I moved the plants off the wall into the sunlight so that I could get a better look at things. We can see how they're recovering from the cold. I would describe these uh, speckles of brown as being typical of some of the early cold damage and the response that these trees make. Remember I pointed out this tree and said the fresh growth was uh, not harmed, but that was not true. 
sometimes you need to wait a few hours or even a day or two to really understand what happened after a cold event and I've seen this before the smallest and reddest uh, leaves will deteriorate first and the ones that have some more maturity do better so you can see that variety here you know here's one that was not mature here's one that's semi mature and as they become more green they are more hardy I still have some of these red leaves in intact condition and I believe that's because this tree was pressed up against the corner of the house and so it was protected on two sides so let's go walk down there and see how the ones are doing that I put in the ground with the bucket removed you can see how I had uh, pieces of asphalt uh, stored underneath it and beside it trying to add some warmth overnight I think that this was semi-successful uh, I do recognize this response uh, kind of the staining along uh, the interior of the leaves I saw that with a variety very similar to this last year uh, but I would say that uh, I mean, this is a reasonable result, but I'm going to need to do more to protect this tree if I want it to survive here because we're going to have many nights that get down in the 20s before the season is over with. So I uh, still have one more over there. We'll take a look at it. Inspecting my final planting here, I feel like this tree may have done just a little better than the first planting, although, as I've described before, when you have fresh growth it's very vulnerable and uh, that did not make it through this 26 degree night but the bucket and the asphalt essentially did protect this tree um, I have a few ideas what I'm going to do uh, on the next cold night and uh, I'm going to alter this routine a little bit and continue to make videos and document how I fare with this effort 